it occurred to me that you may be like me and um, have picked up one of these multimeters and um, never really actually used it much um, with the intent of having electronics and testing things out. These things are confusing. If you're interested in checking this board or something else, um, what I do on mine is I've got mine labeled DC AC um, because these symbols weren't intuitive to me. But anyway, V with a tilde is AC, V with a line and a dotted line, that's DC. So direct current, alternating current. And we're on direct current because that's that's how we're feeding this thing. So we're, we're looking at uh, less than 20 volts. So I'm going to put it on the 20 volt thing here. So I want to check and see how close am I to 5 volts. Am I actually getting my 5 volts out? Is that correct? So I'm going to uh, check which, let's see, I got a positive on top and a negative down here. So what does my thing say? I'm at 4.93. So um, 4.95, 4.96, 4.97. So I could adjust this. I mean, this only goes in tenths. So... I could drop it down to 4.9 if I wanted to, um, but these are, you know, these fluctuate. It says it's 0 0.05 um, fluctuations, and that's it. You can also test your input, and um, here it was saying, it's saying 12 volts. Let's verify we're getting 12 volts. It says it is at 11.8. When I turned this thing on, it was saying 11.9. I might have been, I might have messed with it. I might have changed it when I was demonstrating. Let's see, just drop, drop them back down again. So if I drop it back down intentionally, now I push and hold. Now, is it really at 11.8 or did it just jump up? Let's see. 11.84, 11.83, and on my screen is 11.8. Okay. So anyway, so that's, that's how you can use one of these um, inexpensive multimeters to test this thing. Um, if it helped out, <laughs> I hope it helped out. Um, if it did, leave, leave a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Take care. I'm out.